Well, hello friends, I'm back. Uh, I apologize for missing that uh, last Friday. My business has been uh, taking off a little bit more now that things are be slowly becoming something more that resembles normal. So this past Sunday that marked the return to in-person church services, although there were restrictions. I'm sure those of you that were able to attend were happy to do so. Um, Kelly and I uh, did not attend this week. We had the chance to visit our grandbaby for the first time in three months and uh, it was a wonderful day and I thank God and praise God for that day and that time with with our granddaughter and and our kids so uh, just a fantastic day uh, after three months of not seeing them uh, you do miss them and that psalm today the, the psalm today that uh, we're going to read uh, speaks to this kind of joy that uh, we have after we've been through struggles and it says this when the Lord brought back his exiles to Jerusalem it was like a dream we were filled with laughter and we sang for joy and the other nation said what amazing things the Lord has done for them yes the Lord has done amazing things for us what joy restore our fortunes Lord as streams renew the desert those who plant in tears will harvest with shouts of joy we weep as they go to plant they weep as they go to plant their seed but they sing as they return with the harvest word of the lord so 2020 has been a tough year so far uh the year started off with the uh, bushfires in australia and then we had tensions between the u.s and iran uh, which resulted in the shooting down of a Ukrainian jetliner. And the devastating floods in Indonesia, uh, locusts in East Africa, tornadoes in Nashville, earthquakes in Puerto Rico. And this is all happening as we deal with a global pandemic. And now we cap it off with racial tensions and civil unrest throughout, throughout our own country. But take heart, my friends, as we read in verses 5 and 6 in the psalm, it says, Those who plant in tears will harvest with shouts of joy. They weep as they go to plant their seed, but they sing as they return with the harvest. God's ability to restore life is beyond our understanding. Forests burn down and they're able to grow back. Broken bones heal. Even grief is not a permanent condition. Our tears can be seeds that will grow into a harvest of joy because God is able to bring good out of tragedy. When we're burdened by troubles, the troubles of this world, know that this time of grief will end that you will again find joy we must be patient as we wait god's great harvest of joy is coming so until that time let's pray for one another and for this whole world let us pray Heavenly Father, as we are burdened by the troubles of this world, let us remember that you are in control, that you will restore us and bring us a harvest of joy. Amen. Well, I thank you again for being with me. Um, so now that services have uh, restarted, uh, I believe uh, Pastor Tom had mentioned this that 
uh, we are going to be cutting back a little bit on uh, these messages uh, we'll each be doing one a week uh, I think that he's planning on doing Wednesdays uh, and I'm planning on doing Fridays that could change um, just depending on our schedules um, so uh, be on the lookout for that we might even do some more if, uh, if something comes up uh, so just be on the lookout for it and uh, and I hope to uh, see you in church uh, face to face or face mask to face mask and uh, but until we see each other again uh, may the Lord give you his peace